Greetings Metal Community, it's Roger back with another uh, collection update, uh, not the last one this year, uh, I do at least have one more to show, uh, yeah, big uh, stack, stack of vinyls, it's kind of um, some reissues, uh, a good chunk of this was from a sale on Duplicate Records, um, they have had a lot of, oh, he has had a lot of sales uh, this year and uh, that's good for me. Uh, first of all, I just want to show the new Enchantment long sleeve. Death Doom from the Blackpool. Uh, killer artwork, uh, presumably by uh, Mr. Riddick. Very cool sleeve here. So yeah, thanks to uh, Mark for sharing this uh, with us. Really, really cool. I really dig this. So yeah. If you haven't got it, go to the Bandcamp site and see if they have more left and get you one. Yes, in the background we are listening to uh, the new um, uh, Maceration album called in It Never Dies, It Never, dies. It never Ends, uh, Danish uh, death metal with uh, Don Swanö on vocals. Everybody knows Don Swanö, so you kind of... Uh, Get what this sounds like. You could say it sounds a little bit like uh, Edge of Sanity. It, it wouldn't be very wrong, but uh, they do have some other elements to them than that. So uh, it's not a. Uh, it's just kind of his vocals, but uh, it is kind of towards the Swedish. More towards the Swedish uh, death metal than um, the Danish death metal, I would say. But uh, very cool cover and artwork. Great to have it, you know, fantastic production as always when uh, Mr. Swano is uh, involved. And his voice is pretty good still, so uh, yeah, just a great, great death metal album. Um, and if you haven't checked it out and, um, and like what you're hearing in the background, uh, do go and check them out. Uh, links will be below as always, so uh, yeah. Will it get into my list? I don't know. Uh, I mean, my list is probably about 50 now, so I would scale it down. Another one that's in the category is uh, Autofoggy and uh, Bacterial Fog. Or Fudge, I don't know. Uh, another great album. Uh, you know, a bit uh, old school, dirty sounding death metal. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed this album as well. It's uh, currently on my uh, turntable as well, so. Uh, been playing this uh, a lot this weekend and I really enjoy it uh, as many other albums uh, this might end up on the list as well but uh, I don't know yet uh, haven't decided uh, but there's a lot of contenders this year for me so um, you just have to wait and see what's ending up on the list but I have to exclude a lot of great albums uh, yeah, we can continue in the same path. This is the um, this is Alex uh, Teotanatology. Teotanatology, yeah, tongue twister. Uh, yeah, another great album. I mean, I really enjoy this as well. You know, it's not uh, any fancy, uh, you know, odd death metal. It's just very well done again out on 20 bucks spin uh, yeah what more to say I mean I've seen this in list as well this year and uh, totally get it uh, this will probably not get on my list just because it falls in a category there's a lot of good bands that have done good albums in this genre this year and uh, although I really enjoy this album uh, I don't know if I'm there yet and uh, you know black vinyl like this so yeah uh, as I said this this album might when I listen to it in uh, you know six months be one of the better ones but just for now I'm kind of uh, a little bit full of this type of death metal so it takes a little bit more to um, to get past it when uh, when it comes to the list and stuff like that but uh, I'm sure most of you have heard this and I know a lot of people really like this album and um, 
I do too. Then we have a more unknown band for me, at least it's uh, Force of uh, Darkness. And the title is Twilight of Dark in Illumination. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, band from Chile. Of course, you know, you have to have some Chilean uh, metal. This is uh, in the vein of, uh, I would say, early Destroyer 666. Uh, a little bit more blacky and uh, evil sounding than Destroyer 66 are nowadays. But uh, yeah, a really good album. I uh, really enjoy that type of music. It's not many bands that manage to kind of impress me with that uh, uh, type of metal. Uh, it's not my preferred style, but uh, I do like a good kind of black and uh, thrashy um, album. So uh, yeah, if you if you like early Destroyer 66, go and check out uh, Force of Darkness. Good, good uh, stuff. Then we are going over to a uh, recent uh, release. Uh, and another album that's gonna be on my list this year. It's the new uh, Jade. And the title of this is um, The Pacification of Death. This is just a killer album. Uh, you could say it's kind of more in the vein of uh, Spectrum Ortiz, uh, kind of a, a black and death album. It's not so much black, but there is death and death doom. And there are some uh, black metal riffs, uh, death vocals, just fucking great album. I played this a lot, uh, came into the mail the other day, so... Um, Black Vinyl, of course. And uh, yeah, they, I don't know how high it will be, but this is a uh, yeah, certain. And I just love the cover because it's kind of a look like uh, maybe a bat face with a mouth here and teeth and uh, one eye there and some ears up here. And yeah, really cool, cool uh, cover. Uh, kind of fits the music uh, a little bit. It is not like very murky. It's but it's kind of the right production for this type of music. So if you want some evil death metal with doom and black uh, kind of drizzles on it, uh, go and check out Jade. It's a uh, killer album. I highly recommend you to check this out. Uh, I did order it from the band uh, themselves and I got a, a nice thank you note. So uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I've been a fan of this. They released a EP or a demo in um, 18. That was killer. So this was one that I had high expectations for, and uh, they did deliver. I played this, uh, yeah, eight, eight, nine times now uh, last week, and it's fucking great. Another album that's uh, fucking great is uh, Anti Creation. I do think I've shown a CD version of this earlier, but I don't remember. And I don't remember what country these are from, but um, that's not so important. And there's a kind of poster. This is also kind of a, a, a Second Death Doom or a Death Metal album. It's a very evil sounding, uh, uh, but it's great. It's 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 this um, a bit cavernous uh, feel to it. It's just a, a killer album. Uh, haven't played this as much lately. I just played the album or the vinyl once uh, to kind of familiarize myself again with it because uh, I think the CD version came out. Um, earlier this uh, fall, I think, I don't remember, but uh, great, great stuff, uh, again, uh, another contender for the list, and um, as I said, it will be a long list, maybe, and I picked up two, uh, you know, reissues of uh, Sacrifice, Torment in Fire, and um, Forward to Termination, again, they were on sale, I haven't opened up the uh, 
shrink wrap yet, but um, most of you know these albums anyway, so uh, cool to have them in the collection, and they were pretty cheap, so very happy to have them. Then, uh, yeah, my, my most used words this uh, fall has probably been this gonna be on my list uh, this year. Uh, this was, uh, I think, number five on my mid-year list, and that's uh, Haunter with uh, Disconnect Ales. Uh, finally, the vinyl was released, and I, of course, had to have it on vinyl. It's a three-track uh, uh, album, um, 32 minutes long, I think. So, uh, three songs, uh, just fucking killer. If you are into um, a More Towards Suffering Hour, if you like that type of music, uh, this is an uh, album you have to uh, pick up because uh, this is uh, fucking brilliant. And uh, Change at the Helm of the Eschaton, the last track, it's a yeah, one of my favorite songs this year, and uh, this album is uh, still very high up on the list, and uh, have uh, you know defended its place for a long time. So um, very heavy uh, black vinyl, and uh, also the the cover itself it, it's very it's a very heavy edition. So uh, very thick cardboard. Uh, Profound Lore released this. I think the uh, CD version was early, I mean March or something, but uh, yeah, fucking killer album and uh, top five for sure, uh, if you haven't heard it, go and listen to the links below uh, because uh, you need to have it on your list. And we have a sort of a compilation from um, Filth Digger, a Norwegian death metal, um, kind of, kind of. Very, very much in the vein of uh, Autopsy, uh, they do have some different guitar parts on it and some leads that Autopsy doesn't have, but uh, for the most part it's it's very much a um, Autopsy, uh, you know, not, not a wannabe band, but uh, you know, they uh, are clearly inspired by that band. They do also have a uh, cover song. Uh, of uh, Ridden uh, with Disease, just to underline the fact, uh, yeah, good stuff, uh, good listen. Uh, of course, if you uh, haven't picked up the new Autopsy album, uh, you should buy that first, but uh, this is a cool thing to have in the uh, collection. I think uh, Dave over at Cavernous 123 showed this not long ago, but uh, yeah, really cool uh, album. Uh, if, if you're an Autopsy fan, and there's a lot of you out there, you uh, should go and check check out Field Digger. Have to promote some uh, Norwegian death metal. You don't swim in swim swim in uh, death metal bands here. So uh, yeah, and we have the new album from um, Destroyer Six Six Six. Yeah, what is the name of this? Never Surrender, of course. There's a poster of the uh, cover, and uh, I'm not very fan of the cover. Um, yeah, I like wolves on the cover, but uh, I don't know about this one. Um, lyrics, uh, black vinyl, of course. Uh, how do I put this in the destroyer category? Uh, kind of. I was a little bit disappointed in the beginning because I s it sounded a little bit too polished. Uh, too too nice uh, nicely sounding uh, for a destroyer album but uh, there are some really good songs here and it is a grower for sure I need to play this um, a couple more times it won't be on my list this year because I don't I, I feel they have done um, several better b albums than this one so it kind kind of a little bit disappointed but uh, there's a great it's a great album but um I do have high expectations for Destroyer 66 and that might hurt this album a little bit, but uh, I'm very happy to have it. Uh, as I said, not very fond of the cover. I think it's a bit messy and, uh, you know, when you have such a clean album, clean sounding album and you have a murky cover, you kind of, yeah, it doesn't fit that well. And um, 
But yeah, it would be much cooler with a proper wolf on it. But um, yeah, if you like Destroyer 66, I'm sure you will enjoy this album. Um, it's not a, not at all a band album. It's uh, a great album by, the, by them, but they have done better albums. Uh, then another contender on the list for this year, it's uh, Cosmic uh, Putre Putrefaction. Uh, finally got up on vinyl, uh, again profound lore. It's, this is also the one that came out early. I do have, I have shown the CD before, but uh, yeah, definitely an album that I wanted on vinyl, but um, it just came on CD early on. So, uh, and Profound Lore has done that for quite a few releases um, this year and kind of just released the CDs and kind of the vinyl arrives when they arrive and that's a, an okay uh, way to do it. Uh, this is kind of more um, atmospheric, uh, slightly technical, progressive death metal. Really good, uh, there's a lot of things going on here. so. This is not kind of an instant love for me. Uh, I did have to, I was used to it because of the previous album, but it, it took me a little bit longer this time to get into it, but you know, they get better at playing and, um, or heat, and um, yeah. Still need to play this, uh, give it another round to see how it will end up on my list, but I'm pretty sure it will be there somewhere uh, it definitely deserves it because it's a great great album cosmic future faction did i say the title probably not yeah i'm not gonna try to read those letters anyway so um you know this album anyway so and if not uh, again go and check it out uh, this year has been crazy with the uh, quality releases then we have some uh, reissue stuff from um, more unknown bands. Uh, this is one of my favorite Marduk albums, uh, Room uh, 512. Uh, Rum 512, taken from the Bible, of course, when it's Marduk. Uh, yeah, this is uh, absolutely one of my uh, favorites. Uh, you know, the Accuser poster song here with. Um, Mr. Adoril uh, on guest vocals are just killer stuff. Um, I think there was a etching on the side D. Is uh, it's a double vinyl, but the side D uh, looks like this, which is uh, cool. Uh, I don't. I'm not a fan of double vinyls, as you know, but uh, it's okay when they do an etched fourth side, so you don't have to flip uh, a lot of times to listen to it, but yeah, a killer album by Modok. Uh, not the biggest fan of Modok in the world, but um, they do have some uh, killer albums. Yeah, he's leaving on camera, it's not always working, but um, yeah, fuck it. Then I picked up a vinyl edition of um, one of my favorite Norwegian bands, Enslaved. This is Below the Light, kind of the first. Um, well, I, I'm not a fan of Monumention, uh, but uh, this were this album uh, kind of uh, make, made me understand what they were trying to do on the Monumention. So, um, great album. Uh, a lot of cool songs here. So. Uh, if you haven't heard this, it's good. It's kind of the yeah. It's the start of the new era of uh, Enslaved, and um, yeah, just killer album. Then I had to pick up uh, this on the black vinyl. I uh, have a shitty looking splatter vinyl of this, but um, this is one of my favorite uh, albums from back in the day. Uh, you know. Uh, Tulkomp Snots Snots by Impale Nazarene is a uh, undying classic in the black metal uh, universe. If you don't like it, it's your problem. As I said, I had to pick up a, a proper version of it, so uh, yeah, cool to have it. Then we have uh, yeah, the uh, Hecatomb. Uh, oh, 
Funeral Mist. Uh, this came out um, three or four years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think myself with a heavy booklet is always cool. Yeah, most of you know uh, Funeral uh, Mist by now. Uh, really great Swedish black metal. And uh, yeah, wanted it on vinyl and it was on sale, so uh, why not? Also picked up um, two Hell Ripper releases. Uh, Coagulating Darkness and uh, Complete and Total Fucking Mayhem. Um, I haven't been the biggest fan, but uh, listening to uh, a song from the new album, I kind of uh, looking very much forward to it. And uh, as I said, it was on sale, so uh, I just picked them up. Haven't listened to them yet, but I will when I'm done with my lists. I will enjoy them. The new Year's Molder. A lot of people has uh, talked about this album this year and Rust in Decay. I've uh, seen this on a couple of lists as well, it won't end up on my list for this year, it's not because it's a bad album, it's just because, uh, you know, too many bands doing the same thing, you have to kind of, yeah, some, uh, some are left out, and um, yeah, crappy vinyl edition doesn't help, this should uh, supposedly be a bone with the yellow swirl, but uh, yeah, can't see much swirl on it, but uh, yeah, great uh, album, uh, again an album I really enjoy, but they uh, fell a little bit short um, against a lot of other bands that do the same uh, for me, uh, I know that there's a lot of people who do have it on the list and I totally get it, maybe I haven't spent much, too much time or enough time with it but uh yeah it just didn't click with me as well as the some of the other albums but um still very happy to have it in the collection uh, it is a, a great album but uh, yeah uh, then we are going to show this uh, finish uh, you know another 2022 morbific been uh, dragging my feet a little bit about this because uh, it was so kind of over overpriced in the beginning. Uh, but you know, uh, this is a great album. Again, it's the problem here is kind of the production. When you when I crank up on my stereo, it's kind of almost sounds like the uh, the speakers are um, blown uh, because it's it's so uh, damn crunchy sound on it. Uh, so it would have benefited from a little bit cleaner, not much uh, production. Uh, I like to, to test out, you know, to play them a little bit loud to kind of feel um, feel the uh, kind of uh, power in the, in the music. Uh, I couldn't do it with this, but still it's a great album. Uh, I need to play it a couple more times. Uh, just have had this for a, yeah, two weeks or something. And I just played it uh, three, four times, and uh, I really like it. But uh, will it end up on my list? Uh, I don't know. Not right now, but uh, it's definitely a, a, a album that could and maybe should. In a normal year, this would have been in the top twenty list, but uh, this year is nothing, nothing normal about it. So, uh, but uh, yeah, great finish, definitely. And then finally, again, uh, this was two pieces that I picked up on sale. Uh, I wasn't going to buy this because I'm not a uh, kind of live album collector, but um, Slowly We Rot, uh, Obituary, the kind of live in the rehearsal room or whatever, they recorded it. Yeah, cool cover on this and uh, not slowly we rot this kind of green so um, yeah not uh, super happy by the, by the color but I understand the meaning behind it but um, yeah it sounds good uh, sounds very good but uh, of course it's 
kind of a semi-live album. But it's cool to have. Um, I of course picked up the um, live effects because of death. Uh, this I kind of wanted because of the cover. I think just the uh, cover is worth the money here. Uh, really cool close up by the original. This was a red red variant. Uh, it's a little bit redder than the shows on the um, on the uh, screen, but uh, very uh, very cool um, cover on this. Um, yeah, again, this as well sounds great. So, if you're a fan of this fan of obituary and you know get them on sale, of course you're gonna buy them. I mean, I'm not stupid. So yeah, sorry for blasting through all this uh, shit, I mean, um, you have to listen to stuff yourself and figure out what you're you're liking or not, but I'm just gonna, yeah, I threw a lot of 2022 releases on you here uh, at the end of the year, and that's just to be a little bit evil, make you have a problem with your lists, so on. Um, yeah, but uh, as I said, uh, there will be at least one more update. Uh, pretty soon I do have a couple of packages coming into the mail but now in this time it, it might be uh, delayed but uh, you you just have to wait and see and um, as always and um, you know thanks for the new subscribers and old subscribers and uh, thanks for watching uh, be sure